Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video to show you how to do Thinkorswim's uh, synchronized drawing and how to basically uh, take your drawings on Thinkorswim and make sure that it goes through on multiple charts. Uh, just to show you an example here, if I do a uh, go up to do a drawing, so you'll see here now Thinkorswim's um, drawings are right up under here now they move their tools under a thing called drawings and then you go to drawing tools and then you can kind of do whatever ones you like i really like the trend line one and the price level one uh the price level one just kind of really makes it easy to do like a kind of like a support and resistance line so you'll see right here now that i have uh the draw the uh, price level shown i'm just going to click on right here and you're going to see See this like blue dotted letter level right here? You'll see it uh, right here. You'll see it over here on this chart on the one minute. And then you will um, also see it if you zoom in here right down on the daily. So actually, let me just remove it again. And I'll start it off on the, uh, on, um, the daily just to kind of show you here. So I'll just move it back here. You'll see I drew it on the daily. Look at come across the five minute and... Uh, if I zoom out here, you'll see it on the one minute. So that's how everything is synchronized, okay? But I'm gonna show you an example of when it's not synchronized in a second here. If you also wanna change the drawing tools and, and stuff, or you know, make the change the color lines and make it bigger, you just right click on the actual line, hit edit properties. You can come over and change the color, change the style, change the width um, right here and then you click on save as default and make sure you do that and then uh, save your, go up and save your grid so it saves everything for you. But let me show you here on uh, a multiple chart setup where this is not working. So let me see, let's make sure this works here. Okay, so let me go down over here and I'm gonna do that again. So you're gonna see I have price level, price level, price level under drawing tools, this little dollar sign. So I'm gonna go right up here to 470, let's just go down to 468 here. And I'm gonna draw a line on the daily. So you see here, the line goes over here on the daily, the five minute and the one minute, right? So I'm gonna go over to, um, up the next chart, I'm gonna do it again over, let me just do it just so you can see it across the screen, 265 area, I'll just put it here, there you go, on the daily, the five minute, and I actually is up a little higher, right up here on the one minute. So now it's showing on that chart as well. Well, if you look up over here, actually I had one set up there. Now let me draw it right over here, let me do it right here, right around the 168, 69 marker. So look at this, you see the line here, but you don't see it over here on the five minute and you don't see it on the one minute. And that's the reason for that is you'll see here this little, this little warning indicator, this orange green or this orange, whatever that's called. It shows like, I guess, uh, previous drawings that weren't saved or whatever. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on unsaved drawings and set it to default, okay? Yeah, this chart contains drawing from the previous version of Thinkorswim. Um, I'm just going to click Do Not Notify Me again, continue anyways, and voila. There it is. You'll see default, and the drawing set is default over here. And then all I need to do is go over to this one over here, click on Unsaved Drawings, click on Default, and now you see everything is uniformed up. So you want to make sure that, um, um, that the... Uh, the drawing set is all shown to default and how you have it saved. So now you can see everything is uniformed up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna make sure I save my grid. This is what I have it named. I'm gonna click save and voila, everything is saved. So now when I go back up here again, there we go. You'll see here, it's just, it keeps the line right across uh, and it's all uniformed up. So that is basically how you uh, synchronize your drawings uh, if they're not going through on the different charts, that's how you do it. So that's simple, but trying to figure that out could be annoying, but that's why uh, always call Thinkorswim if you have, or TD Ameritrade if you have any questions because they have fantastic customer service. Uh, so if you're not a member of our community yet on Facebook, make sure you come and join us. We're the Bullish Bears. 